This is the heart of Ennerdale. Ennerdale Bridge is just at the bottom of this road to the left. Please watch the arrow at the bottom left of the screen. That takes you to the lake. The road's just behind us. The first white road sign you'll see along this route says Lake Ennerdale one and a half miles. Ignore that one, carry on. Come to the half mile sign and turn right. Take this right turn here. Strictly speaking, this route is a public footpath with right of way. After a quarter of a mile, you come to the farmer's home, and this is How Hall Farm. Now, if the diving group consists of one or two cars, I would suggest just carry on. However, it would be a courtesy, especially if there's more than two cars, just to call in at the farm and ask them, or get the nod from them, that it's okay to go down there. I must stress, this is not a route I would advise normal tourists to take. This is a very rough road. You don't want to be going down here unless you're in a tractor. Let's put it that way. Okay. As we mentioned before, you are on a farm. I don't think dogs will be allowed down here. Unless they're totally tethered up. It is a farm track you're going down and parking is limited at the end. So you wouldn't actually drive down here unless you had a need. Such as canoeists with their canoes or divers with their gear and support equipment. Divers and canoeists will find tourists walking around the lake down here. There is a public footpath that takes you right around Ennerdale. The two main car parks you would start from are either Bleach Green or over at Bowness Knot. It's about an eight and a half, nine mile walk around Ennerdale. It is a very pleasant walk around this lake for those that are able to do that. And take a packed lunch with you. Plenty of uh, picnic places, especially in the Bowness Knot area. And for the record, uh, Webmaster Paul here and his wife have walked pretty much around every body of water in Cumbria, in the Lake District. I still don't know why we do it, <laughs> but there you are. Some people like to cover all the peaks, we like to cover all the lakes and the tans and the quarries. Okay, that's enough of the waffling on guys, let's get on with the dive site details. Just two gates on this uh, track down to the lake by the old hotel. Always make sure you close them after you. So here we go, guys. You'll find your water visibility in this lake is at 20 meters plus. That's in summertime, so that is very good. Winter, it reaches 25 plus meters. Temperature is very interesting. At this end of the lake, where the water is running out, you'll find it's between two to four degrees warmer than up at the River Lisa end. So if you're looking for warm water, <laughs> this is the place to be. temperature during summer is uh, between 11 and 12 degrees so it's quite cool but then that's because of the clarity there's no silt floating around in this water so there's nothing to warm it up during the winter you'll actually be very cold at three to four degrees the only real downside for many divers is going to be the depth range we're actually talking about diving for quite some time out into this lake and you'll still find yourself at 8 meters tops and that's on a very gradual slope down having said that the bottom's quite firm and stony there's just a dusting of silt here and there so it's ideal for trainees as well or for those just trying to get acquainted with the first freshwater dives now you're probably wondering why I'm zoomed in here on this bird um, it was Kaf that spotted this, not me but I've never noticed this before and it turns or it seems to be a rocky area in the middle of the lake here um, which just goes to show how shallow this is unless of course this might be a floating log I'm not really sure but uh, I reckon it, uh, it's worth somebody going in and getting out over there uh, diving 
and uh, to discover what this really is is it a log will it be there next year I've never noticed it in previous years or maybe it's just the reservoirs a little bit on the low side I'm not sure so there's a little uh, mystery for someone to to resolve for me do let me know give me an email freshwaterdiver at tiskily.co.uk now I'm just thinking there this has got me thinking about Derwent water because they have islands which rise and then go and submerge again and it's due to gases underneath all the matted material forcing that material up and creating the appearance of an island before sinking again during the winter anyway there's mysteries all over these lakes um, it's up, up to us divers to find <laughs> find out where they are and what they are <laughs> good luck buds to finish off I'm just going to offer you a quick tip to do with all these videos which at the end you'll see a credits scrolling up these will give you the name of the dive site and other information that could be useful to you so please do take a look at those credits thank you and in this last clip just take a look at this water clarity for Ennerdale and for the historical record this was filmed on Friday the 4th of May 2012 Thank you for watching this video. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver signing off. Thank you.